the century threw tear gas at us as if we were the enemy, not those corporate rapists behind that fence trading democracy for profits. And let me tell you, tear gas canisters are hot. You gotta wrap a shirt or something out of your hand before you try to pick one up. The best way to throw them back at the police is to overshoot, surround them in their own chemical warfare. This is what a police state looks like. Quebec City, you became Alamo for fair trade in the Americas. So when buses came with more riot police and more tear gas for us, we wouldn't move out of the way. We, they parked a quarter mile down and marched past us four to a row, as scared of us as we should have been of them, but we were all pumped up on our own adrenaline and passion and self-righteousness. Somebody went to spray paint peace signs on the cops' buses, and the rest of us held our ground. This is what democracy looks like. We took pieces of their fence down a few times, little victories that cost our lungs and eyes as the gas kept coming, billowing over the city, a testament to how far business will go to silence the people. And I turn around, I see the headlights of a New York City cop following me. You know what I'm thinking? If I had 30,000 protesters backing me up, I wouldn't move out of his way either. <laughs> but then I think, I really do, don't I? This pavement is alive with the voices of everyone who has ever walked on it. It connects like watershed to all streets and highways and country roads. Seattle against the WTO. Washington, D.C. against the World Bank. Columbus, Georgia against the School of Assassins. It's always people on one side, corporate greed on the other. And everyone who has ever stood with me is standing with me still. So I can face these headlights and not waver, and so I turn to them and I say, who's streets? And I don't hear anything from them. So I turn to you and I say, who's streets? Who's streets? That's right, there are streets, and we can march on them until our feet wear the pavement away. <laughs> Under those streets is our land. Whoa.